No annoying intros, let's jump into the computer. I'll show you exactly step by step what you need to do in order to book your first customer, your first client. So first thing here, I'm on custom GPT. I did a video previously on my channel. If you didn't see it, go watch it. I will put it right here. So you'll create the bot first and now you're ready over here. So once you have everything created, you have your bot here, you already found your customer over here. We're doing for the same customer that I did on the other video. You have the website that will show you in a sec how to use it and you will have your Calendly as well. I will tell you why you need to have that as well. So first things first, we need to set up the bot itself. So we don't care about the data because we already have the data from the website, so that is fine. We have to modify the chatbot itself. We have to change the picture that we have here because we don't want the customer to see this specific picture. So what we do, we go on the website, we take a screenshot of the logo of the company. You go back here, we upload the logo over here. And once we have the logo, we can change the background image if we want to do it. For the sake of this video, I will show you how to do it. It's super simple. You go on Pexels, pexels.com. This company is related to hair salon, so beauty, whatever. So we just search here for hair salon and let's find a picture that actually, yeah, we can use this one. No, uh, yeah, we download this picture here. Then we go back here. We go on downloads over here. We upload the image. And now the customer will see this as a background image on the chat itself. If we want to do this, we can change the prompt here. Ask me anything. We can do, I, I am a highly trained AI system. I am a highly trained AI system ready to help you with your question. You can do whatever you want here. It's up to you. So after you do that, this is the appearance of the bot itself. You do save changes. Everything is saved. So this is what the customer will see once he, of course, or she opened the, the bot itself. So we have the bot ready. One last thing we need to do is go here on the sharing tab. We have to select embed because what we are doing now is, uh, is embedding the bot into the Google site website because of course we're not buying for each customer a new domain. We are giving them a test website so they can test it and see if they like it or not. So we do this, we copy the code here. Now we go on Google site. So it's just sites.google.com. It's free to use and you can create landing pages, uh, website, whatever. So you just need to uh, create a specific uh, page for this customer so you can share a link where they can test the bot because of course you can do it from here You do share link you do copy link, but I'll show you how it looks like So if you go here and you paste the link the problem is that the customer will see this so they will see the custom GPT Branding all the other stuff that we don't want a customer to see so we want them to see a clean website So that's why we are using Google site. So let's go back on Google site. We create a super simple design we name the page uh, with the name of the business. This is heart to heart. Let's change this. Okay. We upload the logo because we have the logo so we can put it on the website as well. The site name, we can call it heart to heart. So we have the same stuff over there. And now we have to embed the bot itself over here. So we click here on the embed. We go on code here and we paste the code and you do next. Google is loading whatever it needs to load. And as you can see, this is now the website. So we do insert over here. So then you just make it a little bit bigger. So it looks better when the customer opens the page and you're pretty much done. So now if you share this link to the, with the customer, I will show you how to create an email as well. The customer will see this page and they will be able to test the website and test the bot itself. So this is pretty much overall done. But as you know, if you watch my previous video, we are not just offering this, we are offering also the Google service and I'll show you how to integrate that as well in the final email that we are sending to the customer. So we have to add one other thing before completing the web page because yes, we want to share this with the customer. So we want the customer to test the bot, but we want them to book a call with us so we can close the deal and close the sale. So what we do here, we go on Calendly. If you don't have an account, just go on Calendly, create an account. It's super simple. You need to use it because you need to book calls for with the customers. So you go on Calendly. I have different things for different businesses that I have, but the one that I'm using here is called AI tools and Google ranking strategy 
discussion you click on share you go on add to website and you create and you click on inline embed so you have the same code that you have for the other stuff so you copy this code over here copy code perfect now we go back on the website we add another embedding so we go and embed code we paste it we do next insert and as you can see now we have our calendar calendar over here as well we make it bigger so the customer will see more so we have the calendar over here and now this is the website how it looks like so we if we want we can change this as well uh, we can put maybe pink or you know change it with this or this that is up to you i mean it's just the design that you like the most and you can choose it i would say probably this is the no i like this one what which one was this one or this one i like this one so we can choose this one after we have this, so we did, what we did is cre we created the bot, we have the code with, for the bot, then we have the logo of the company to create the bot itself, then we go on Google site, we create the little landing page, it's a test page the customer can create, they can interact with, you know, uh, to see what we actually created for the customer. Once we have this created, we add our Calendly, here, you can use any tool you want as long as they have a thing to book a call with you instead of, you know, sending emails and deciding the time, they can just do it over here. Once you do that, then you're pretty much done with the website. After that, you just click on publish. You can call it as you want. I would just add another thing to make it clear that this is just a test. So test. So we can go publish. And now we have the link over here. So. If we copy this link and we go on another page and we paste it, we have the website that we just created. So we have the bot here and we have the calendar itself down here. So the customer is able to book the, the call with us and it's able to test the tool itself. So for example, what time do you guys open? This is a generic question that we can ask. So now the bot is getting information from the website and is replying to the potential customer that is, you know, chatting with the bot. And as you can see, it gives the information over here. This is just an example because then what you do once you close the deal, you embed the same code into the customer's website so they enable, so they have the same tool over there. So now we are pretty much done. But as you know, I want to go an extra mile and give the customer another thing for us to have a better offer. And that is the Google service on Fiverr that I've showed you before. You go on Fiverr, you search for Google Maps, and you have all these services to help the customer rank a bit higher on the uh, list of the businesses in the area. So you do this, you buy it, and after you buy this, you create a website, then you send the offer to the customer via email that we're doing together. Remember to do it beforehand because even if you don't close the deal, that is one thing that it will tell the customer they are willing to give value first and show them that we are able to create value for the customer. So I did it already for the business. I have an Excel file, they send your report, and that is what you add into the email for the customer. So now we have the Google Maps service. We have the bot, we have the website over here that the customer can check and test. We have everything to send the email. You tell them that you were new in the area, you're a business owner, and you want to provide value to their business, all these different things in the email. Let me know if you want me to create a template that I can share with you guys. I will probably create a Google file. Let me know if you want me to do that. Let me know in the comments, so I will do it. Quick note, look at here. Can you help me correct this and having more people subscribe to my channel watching my videos? That would be amazing, thank you. So that said, this is the email. So what we do is we complete the email and we attach the file that we have over here so as you can see, this is the Excel uh, report that you get once you buy the service on Fiverr. All the links will be in the description below for Fiverr, for custom GPT, for everything. So you'll be able to use the same tools that I'm using. And after you complete the email, you just need to send it and you're pretty much done. So this is the process, create everything for the customer. We give value upfront, showing results first in order for us to close the deal. Again. This is not something that works 100% of the time. That is impossible in business. Nothing is 100% secure. The only two things that are uh, secure are taxes and death. So that is the only two things that you can be sure that are always happening. That said, 
This is the process. Let me know in the comments if you have specific questions, if you want me to create bots for specific niches. Some, this is a really interesting business. I want to provide value, of course, for free. We don't have to pay anything. I'm just giving you all this information for free. So I will make more videos on this topic. Thank you very much for watching. Again, don't forget to check the links in the description and to subscribe. And I'll see you next week with a brand new video.